It seems your first test as Lord has come. Tis no small matter either. Indeed, but I needn't face it alone. I would ask each of you where you think we should go and why. State your case before the scales of conviction. Then we shall decide our destination. We take a vote and the consensus determines our action. Is that it? That is correct. So long as my allies walk by my side, their opinions carry equal weight to mine. Such is the way of House Wolfort. As Lord, I shall bear the weight of consequence for the scale's decision, whatsoever they may be. You are more serious than usual, my friend. He understands what it means to be lord of his house. Well, I hope you have room for a stowaway, because I'm going to. In secret, of course. I trust the new Lord Wolfort will handle the ponderous negotiations and diplomacy with grace. Your Highness, you cannot be... You may stay ashore if you wish, Huet. You know I cannot allow that. If you insist on going, then I shall attend you. Well then, it would seem the matter is settled. There is exactly one coin for each of us. It seems fate has conspired to bring balance to our proceedings. How curious. Curious? I see it as a sign that the heavens approve of my joining you. You are ever the optimist, my friend. Shall we proceed, my lord? One coin, one vote. Very well. I would hear each of your thoughts on the matter in turn. Then you shall place your coin upon the scales of conviction and illuminate the road ahead. Lord Saranoa. Lord Saranoa. Saranoa. Saranoa, hello. Listen, lad. Lord Sereno. Say.
Lord Sereno. Then... Lord Serena. But... Okay. Serenella. Lord Serenella. Hmm. Certainly not. Quite true. I am decided. Serenella. Lord Seren. Possibly. My mind is made up. Listen, lad. Hmm. I've made up my mind. Say. Well... Serenella. I see. And?
It is time to cast our votes. Do we journey to the Grand Duchy of Esfrost or the Holy State of Hyzant? Approach the Scales of Conviction with your token at the ready. I stand by my decision. You make a convincing argument, my lord. I am so sorry. I have no qualms with that. You have my vote. Please forgive me. Forgive me, lad. The scales of conviction will illuminate the path we've chosen. forward is decided. We journey to Esfrost. We have decided. We set sail for Esfrost. Whether or not it proves to be the right choice will depend on our actions. I trust in you all. We are ready to set sail, Lord Patriot. Very good, my lord. When you pay respects to the Archduke, remember that you do so on behalf of our king. Archduke Gustadoff will be pleased that you chose to honor our nation with a visit. I'm sure he is eager to get to know his new brother-in-law as well. The feeling is mutual, I assure you. Does this mean she is coming back too? I feel myself getting sick already. That swill they call wine will taste even more vile now, I fear. <sighs> My lady... Are you sure you wouldn't prefer to stay at Castle Woolfort? Nonsense. I am coming with you. Zeranoa, acting as King Regna's envoy, charts a course down the Norzelia River for the Duchy of Esfrost. Ere long, Zeranoa and crew arrive at a massive gate, itself dwarfed by the snow-covered mountains that lie beyond. Awaiting them at Twinsgate, as it is known, is Farag Esfrost, Second in power and influence only to the Archduke himself. Evlora, Erika, Thallus, welcome home. I trust the ceremony was a fruitful one. Twas my duty as minister to be present. Thank you for having us in your domain, uncle. 
The crags are lovely as ever. <sighs> Lord Svarog, I present to you Lord Serenoa Wolfort. Come on behalf of King Regna. Ah, the Wolfort boy. Frederica's betrothed, yes? The very same, my lord. I thank you for the warm welcome. The honor is mine, Lord Serenoa. Svarog Esfrost at your service. I watch over Twinsgate, the front door of our duchy. Lord Svarog is father to Dragan, and uncle to the Archduke and myself. We did not expect to see you again so soon, Frederica. But I understand wanting to show off your handsome groom-to-be. Uncle, please. You embarrass me. <laughs> Good to see you're still not afraid to speak your mind. A word of advice, lad. You do well not to anger her. I shall take your words to heart. Tis quite the burden you're undertaking, my friend. Prince Roland. I did not expect you'd be in attendance. It's been quite some time, Lord Svarog. But today I come as an attendant to House Wolfort. A secret visit, then. Say no more. King Regna thanks Lord Dragan for all he has done for the mining effort. His engineering prowess has proved indispensable. As his boasting has no doubt proved intolerable. Forgive the boy, my lord. That said, rest assured his goals are sincere. He truly does wish to lead us into a new era. I pray you'll lend him the strength to see that it becomes a reality. You have my word. You expect great things from him, then? Against my better instincts, perhaps. But such is my lot as the boy's father. But forgive me. No doubt you are weary from your journey. I shall keep you no longer. Archduke Gustadolf awaits you at Ironstone. Then we shall take our leave. Thank you, Lord Svarog. Brother, where is Roland? I've yet to see him today. And you shan't, for he has left. Took it upon himself to join the mission abroad. He did? Again, prioritizing his personal wishes above his station. Is there no end to his selfishness? You haven't any love for him, have you? Love? I would rather think of him as little as humanly possible. How can you say that? He's family. Royal family, and our duty is to the crown above all. Do not look to Roland for inspiration if you wish to carry yourself in a manner befitting your station, dear Cordelia. I am Gustadolf, Archduke of Esfrost. Allow me to personally welcome you to my nation. I hear I am addressing the new Lord of House Wolfort, yes? Serenoa Wolfort, Your Grace. It is an honor to have an audience with you. On behalf of King Regna and all of Glenbrook, you have our sincere gratitude for your generous contributions to the mining effort. Consider your gratitude accepted. Avlora informs me that you fought well in the tourney. 
I would much like to see for myself how the legendary Simon's son carries himself in battle. I train twice as hard, yet I'm not half the warrior he is. It is good that you make such effort. I would expect no less for my brother-in-law to be. Norzelia is changing. The time when matters were settled by Blade draws to a close. In the spirit of this age of diplomacy, I would hear your honest thoughts on the Mining Accord. I believe it an important alliance that may bring harmony to our three nations. Hmm, an uninspiring answer, and naive at that. Do you truly believe that each of our nations aspires to the same harmony? And what is it that you aspire to, Your Grace? Why, peace for all of Norzelia, of course. Peace and freedom for all its peoples to live as they please. Frederica, do not lose sight of your role in all of this. Stand by Serenoa always, and represent Esfrost with pride and grace. I shall, brother. Prince Roland, as you have come in secret, I will dispense with formalities. I appreciate the consideration, your grace. That said, does King Regna not worry that his younger son visits a foreign land on his own? I am no longer a child, and it is a prince's duty to be worldly. A fine outlook. In that case, I would show you to the archives. It holds countless tomes, from the ancient to the new. I dare say it rivals that of Hyzant's Ministry of Medicine. An intriguing offer, and one I gladly accept. Lord Wolfort, you and your men are free to join us as well. Truly, Your Grace? I understand the Archives hold many a closely guarded secret. And rest assured, I have no intention of giving those away. But now that we are allies, through mining and marriage alike, a brief tour is more than in order. Beg your pardon, but I heard this is where the salt flows cheap like. Not here, it doesn't. Go bother someone else. I'm not asking for my health. Here's an advance. How much do you need? As much as you can spare. I'm good for ten times what I gave you. I'm not to sell you now. Come back tonight. Money in hand, to the spot marked here. And I know your face, so don't try anything stupid. You have my word. That looks like the spot on the map, just there. Right then, Sikris, I've got the location for you. This is where they do their dirty work. I knew you were the man for the job. Excellent work, Rudolph. My name's cleared then, yeah? I'll be pardoned? You have my word. That said, our forces are stretched quite thin this evening. We'll need you to assist in apprehending them as well. Risk my life in exchange for a pardon? Are you mad? We need you. These fiends are swindling the poor, selling them impure salt mixed with all manner of unsavory things. They must be jailed at all costs. Fine. I'll help you bring him in. Glad to hear it. You're too good a man to be branded a criminal. Don't you flatter me after all this. You saw him, didn't you? They don't work alone. An operation like this ain't run by one man. And last I checked, we're only two. We'll assemble reinforcements.
What an astounding collection of tomes. The sum of Norzelia's knowledge, including volumes thought lost or banned outright in other nations. I did not expect to see so many people in a facility so important. Each and every one is a scholar, conducting important research in their field of expertise. Scholars? All of them? Brother gives no thought to background, gender, or social status during the selection process. All in Esfrost are given equal opportunity, provided they show desire and aptitude. Of course, we prize ability above all else. So long as they produce results, they are free to research as they please. The most open-minded approach. Indeed. I see now how Esfrost arrives at its marvels of engineering. This portion contains the collected writings on metallurgy and our nation's rich history with iron. Our ancestors were but a tribe of impoverished hunters, until the man who would become our first Archduke discovered iron. Iron changed our lives. It transformed the way we worked, farmed, built, and fought. The history of iron is the history of Esfrost. It is our pride and joy. The engine. My father told us that Esfrost is made of iron that neither its people nor weapons would bend. <laughs> Just so, Prince Roland. Your Grace. Forgive me the interruption. I have unfortunate news regarding the issue of which we spoke. So you require reinforcements. Say no more. Then there was the matter of the pardon. On which my thinking has not changed. We will speak no more of this. Understood. Honored guests, I would consult with you on an important matter. This is Sikris, commander of Esros Constabulary. Has something happened? We have discovered an illicit salt trade operating within our borders. Yet we lack, at the moment, the manpower to address it. Might we have your assistance in apprehending the Scofflaws? Why, I would... Lord Saranoa, matters of salt are fraught. I advise you not to engage without a clear strategy. I understand it is a complex issue. Needless to say, I would not force this upon you. Uh... Sounds simple to me. Just bring in some criminals to justice, yeah? I say aye, my lord. I concur. What better way to thank His Grace for a tour of the Archives? Then it is settled. We shall help you. I could not be more thankful. Sikris, brief our friends on the situation. Of course, Your Grace. Come, I shall show you to the garrison. I'm honored to have House Wolford fight at our side. As I am happy to be of service. Now then, what is the situation? Eisen's excessive salt taxes have given rise to an illicit salt trade that plagues the duchy. I have heard tell that the tariffs are exorbitant, but I've not heard a price. Let it suffice to say that the cost of a single handful of salt could feed a family for a month. And heavens. As such, demand for salt, even impure or stolen, is nigh on infinite. A crime, to be sure, but a necessary evil for the poor. Tight regulation risks drawing their ire. Perhaps we should not have agreed to this so readily. Indeed, the Archduke has a sharp mind and a silver tongue. My brother may appear generous and open-minded, but one should never feel too safe around him. 
I was too eager, my lord. And for that, I apologize. I was the one who agreed. Fraud as the matter is, I could not refuse the Archduke to his face. Illicit salt trade would threaten the salt revenue on which the duchy depends. Thus, they feel they must intervene, correct? Precisely. We understand the plight of the people without question. On matters of maintaining order, however, we cannot waver, lest seams in the social fabric be rent asunder. I understand the circumstances and wish to reiterate that you have our support. How would you employ us? Our spy has already discovered where the smugglers operate. A transaction is to occur tonight. We shall make a move once our spy lures the smugglers into the open. Understood. Then we shall familiarize ourselves with the town by nightfall.
That's the bell at Ironstone. It's midnight. The exchange is about to take place. We'll make ourselves known once the smugglers have assembled. Might that be one of the smugglers there? No, that's Rudolph, a spy of ours. He helped us uncover this operation. A reformed salt smuggler himself. Whom you now employ as an informant. Few would understand the landscape better than someone on the inside. Most ingenious. That was part of my reasoning. But there is more to it. His intentions were noble even as his actions broke the law. He's not at his core an evil man. I say that as an officer whose instincts were honed over many an arrest. Which is why I personally selected him to be my eyes and ears. Hmm. The smugglers are here, and they come in numbers. As frosty soldiers? What are they doing here? Corrupted by the siren song of money in the black salt market, no doubt. Would it were not so. But my eyes do not deceive me. The fight will not be easy. How shall we proceed? This cannot be allowed to continue. If that means bloodshed, then so be it. Understood. Then we make our move. Who are you? This is the constabulary. Lay down your arms, and come quietly if you value your lives. A trap! Kill them all! Fell the soldiers and give chase. Don't let them escape. Rudolph, you're to follow his orders. And just who is he exactly? Serenoa Wolford of Glenbrook. The Archduke personally requested my help. What? The young lord of House Wolford? Look, I'm grateful for the help, but don't muck it up, yeah? My good name hangs in the balance. The honor is mine. The Dutch is beyond saving, if the soldiers have stooped to smuggling. The rot's too deep now. I've no intention of defending them, but their poverty leaves them few options. They're still human, after all. I expect you'll put that sympathy aside if it comes to blows. For the good of the duchy, yes. Any who resist shall taste my blade. My lance strikes true! Time to take flight! From this range! Huh. 
Ready. Yeah. So it falls to me. Our victory is assured. Defeat is not an option. Now I end this. There is no mercy on the battlefield. A brief respite. Much appreciated. I shall do what I can. Yeah! That's it, the mark! No quarter! I will end this. world. See that? For my kingdom! Here I come. You'll get no mercy from us. Defeat is not an option. This ends here! My turn! No! Ready. I'll send you flying! Forward march! There is no mercy on the battlefield. I have your back. Much appreciated. For the future of House Woolfort. Let me show you what I've learned. With the powers in me.
It's not over yet. Time to take flight. This ends now! You can always trust one who fights with a bow, yeah? Less talk, more fighting. That's half of them. You'll keep your word about my pardon, won't you? We'll talk when this is finished. But where shall we strike? Perish! Uh! What now? Forward march! Do not resist. There is no mercy on the battlefield. Your defense is weak! Too slow! Good. Allow me. Yes. My growth is plain to see. You won't beat me! To victory! I fight for peace. The hunt is on. Darkness engulfs you. I struck true. That seemed to work. The winds of change are blowing. For the honor of House Wolfort. I struck true, just as I planned. What now? You're done for! I struck true. We nearly have them. Stay on your guard. These are trained soldiers we fight. Forward march. <sighs> Follow my lead. There is no mercy on the battlefield. You were overconfident. Ah! I shall do what I can. Your wounds are healed. Yes. I will end this. With the powers in me. I'll take you on! To victory! The sheer goal. Ah! 
Here I come. From this range. Defeat is not an option. Your luck has run out. Run in jail, you traitorous bastards. We're in your debt. We may never have apprehended the smugglers if not for you. Aye, that's another worry off your back. And a criminal charge off mine, yeah? His Grace has granted your pardon. On the condition of your exile. If he can't have me in jail, he wants me out of Asfrost. Is that it? Forgive me. It's not the choice I would have made. But the Archduke is a stubborn man. Don't worry. The feeling's mutual. Never had any love for this place, even if it's all I've known. Got nowhere to go either, mind you. But I'll find my way somewhere. Well, if you've truly nowhere to go, what would you say to serving House Wolfort? Hmm? You're the lord of your house, aren't you? And you just welcome a criminal like me into your ranks? You've been pardoned, have you not? That makes you as worthy as any other. Your wit and muscle would be a boon to the house, and I would be grateful for your service. What more could you ask for, Rudolph? You could make a new life for yourself at House Wolfort. I'm sure of it. I, I'm sure I can. Right then, Lord Saranoa, I thank you for your kindness. Welcome to House Wolfort, Rudolph. Thalus, how does Dragan fare? As blustery and boastful as ever, brother. He is simply beside himself that his contributions to the mine have been recognized. So he has achieved a measure of success. Perhaps I underestimated him. What concern is he of ours? He is Farag's son and of thinner blood. We are not Glenbrook or Hyzant, Thalus. In Esfrost, a man is judged for his deeds, not his pedigree. And yet you have appointed me Prime Minister, have you not? I have given you an opportunity, brother. Do not be mistaken. If you wish to keep your position, prove to me you are deserving of it. Understood. Brother mine. Dear brother, do with Thallus as you please, but I bid you be wary of Dragan and Svarog. I've reason to believe they've designs on higher seats. If they mean to overthrow me, then let them try. I shall relish the opportunity to crush them. I bid you safe passage home, Lord Wolfort. Many thanks for the send-off. Pray relay my gratitude to the Archduke as well. I shall. 
And do take care of our friend Rudolph here. Who I trust will not be causing you any trouble. Treating me like a naughty child right to the end. Anyhow, you take care of yourself, Sikris. <sighs> and with that, I must be off till we meet again. We should be on our way as well. No one's left anything behind. Not I. I even purchased a souvenir or two to bring home. That's all well and good. But once we reach home, it'll be wedding preparations for you. Indeed. The ceremony fast approaches. Truth be told, I'm more than a little nervous. Oh dear. Is that so? And how are you feeling, Lord Serenoa? Bit nervous too, of course. But that is easily outweighed by my excitement. <laughs> as well it should be. It shall be a celebration for the ages. Isn't that right, Benedict? Uh, yes, of course. What troubles you, Benedict? You sound distracted. Nothing about the ceremony, I assure you. This journey has simply proven a sobering reminder that salt remains a complex issue in our realm. And yet despite it, we make strides toward peace. The Mining Accord is proof enough of that. Roland is right. We can only do what we can to ease tensions and resolve matters peacefully. A duty which requires constant vigilance.